millennials, it's Mr. Humpkins. Remember Mr. Humpkins from your favorite childhood TV show? Well, now he's gay and smokes weed and kills people. <laughs> you like that? You like that? If you don't, you're a f***ing homophobe. By now, you probably know of the new Scooby-Doo reboot, Velma, and you've probably seen a lot of people react to the trailer. But instead of simply reacting to the trailer, I have decided to actually watch the show, so you don't have to. I will do that for you, because I love you, and because I'm a masochist. So I was thinking, you know what? Maybe this won't be that bad. Maybe Velma won't be that bad. <laughs> At Crystal Cove High School, Daphne is a popular mean girl orphan who deals drugs because of a dark family secret. Her boyfriend, Fred, personifies mediocre white richness. His mansion holds a dark secret, and he has teeny whittle privates, a subject of much conversation. Shaggy has become Norville, a school newspaper striver friend-zoned by his beloved Velma. He worries he's a beta male. Remember that lame concept from 20 years ago? Well, that sounds terrible, but at least we get to see our old pal Scooby-Doo again. That lovable little pupper, our favorite mystery-solving doggo. <laughs> what? Scooby-Doo does not appear in Velma on HBO Max. This is like making Tom and Jerry, but no Jerry. Just Tom. I shouldn't give them ideas. This show managed to do what every politician in the world failed to do. It has bought everyone from every side of the political spectrum, all genders, all races, all ages together in harmony to hate it. Velma is so bad, in fact, that it's spawning conspiracy theories that creator Mindy Kaling made what is essentially a parody of what the right wing thinks left wing comedy is like. As in, a show that not just recasts most roles with new races, but also features loads of white guys, am I right? The idea is that Kaling is a secretly conservative force in media trying to make the left look bad by making a cringy adult cartoon full of this rich white guy has a small dong jokes. So first of all, that is a cope. But second of all, this just proves that whatever they were trying to do with this show failed. So let's get the good parts out of the way. The animation. Okay, now the bad parts. Literally everything else. Hold my way. And it starts with a murder, bitch. <laughs> you could tell it's an adult cartoon because they say bitch. The bugs are having sex. This isn't your grandma, Scooby-Doo. We make fun of white people and men. Look out. Now don't get me wrong, I like meta humor and I like fourth wall breaks, but I don't like when they are every other Minute. Wouldn't it be crazy if we were in a cartoon? Wouldn't it be wacky if this was a show? Notice how pilot episodes of TV shows always have more gratuitous sex and nudity than the rest of the series. Aren't these people minors? <laughs> FBI, open up! It's like the only other type of humor in this show besides jokes about white people and pop culture and meme references that will age terribly in like five years. They address the race swapping like four minutes into the opening scene. How do you feel about race blind casting, Daphne? Well, as an Asian woman, but everyone loves it when white people play Jesus or a professional boxer. Oh my God, I don't care. We're like four minutes in and I'm still watching a softcore cartoon of 15 year olds in a shower and being preached to about race and representation. And it just comes off as like, very overly defensive and insecure about itself. Like, I don't care about the race swapping. Just make good characters. It's only two episodes, but I swear to God, every other joke was like about how we are watching a cartoon. You know what 420 is, right? Um, yeah, it's code for adults who still watch cartoons. We really need to stop putting people who hate animation in charge of animated shows because this is the outcome. This sh it just got annoying and frustrating and just really felt like the writers just hated working on this show. Like they just hated the audience. They hated the whole Scooby-Doo franchise. It just really felt spiteful. And that honestly just feels like a pattern with all of these remakes and reboots made for a modern audience. As soon as I see the words remade for a modern audience, I'm just like, shut the f up. No, you're 
fucking place, trash. They're just milking people's nostalgia. Remember when you didn't have to work two jobs and didn't have student debt? Sucks you'll never be able to afford a house, but <laughs> look, the Lion King. And like consuming media is activism now, apparently. Buy tickets to the 700th shallow Disney remake to own the racist chuds online. I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. It's not like I'm original either. I'm like a ripoff of Boxy and Chris Raygun. But anyway, back to the actual review. Time to review the show, sorry. The pacing is god awful. It never slows down. My ADHD ass could not even keep up. What is happening? You like blink and then one of them is selling a kidney. I did not laugh once. Oh wait, I, w I think I went like heh at one point, at one joke. Velma was in the bathroom and Daphne and her popular girl click like confronted her to like threaten her, but someone kept flushing the toilet and like interrupting them. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. That was kind of a joke. And the only reason I like chortled <laughs> at that was because it was the one time, I'm not joking, it was the one f***ing time that the show slowed down even a little bit and had any amount of comedic timing. So people weren't hyping up the woke stuff in this show. There wasn't as much as I thought there would be, but when there was, <laughs> it was bad. Those are all white people, Daphne. Minorities on TV can only deal drugs to escape poverty. <laughs> I think Velma has been depicted as non-white before, but she didn't spend like <laughs> her whole f***ing time bitching about white people. Why would you do- that's not even like a character, that's just being racist. You're not Velma, you're just Mindy Calling, and that's like the big thing in this, you could tell this is just like a self-insert character. Also there was like an anti-Me Too joke in there. Exactly, I spit truth without a filter. Like every comedian before hashtag me too. Wait, what? Which does not make any sense for Velma's character at all. Which to me shows that Velma herself isn't supposed to be like a progressive SJW type of character. And that all the progressive opinions coming from her previously, like about white people and body positivity and oppression and whatever, was really just the writers preaching their own politics. This would be like me rebooting Ed, Ed and Eddie and making Rolf say some shit like, Hello, Ed the boys. Isn't it crazy how two trillion dollars went missing from the Pentagon a few days before 9-11? Like why, like, why would you do that? But I was thinking, like, why out of everything a joke about Me Too? And then I find out that Mindy, the creator of the show and the voice of Velma, was actually accused of sexual assault. Yikes, maybe that's why. None of the characters are likable. Like when I think of Velma, I think of cute, nerdy, witty, smart, clumsy. No, this Velma was really just a terrible person. She was just an ass And like, of course she was, because I feel like every modern day female lead has to be like a sassy, unlikable ass because for some reason that equals female empowerment. But I don't know, cause like I'm a sassy, unlikable ass and racist. I don't feel very represented. <laughs> like this sh just isn't even like subversive anymore. Honestly, if they made a female lead that was like feminine and nice, that would be subversive at this point. Shaggy was not Shaggy at all. Shaggy is goofy and cowardly, but in this he's just like, putting himself in harm's way, putting himself in dangerous situations to win over Velma's heart? I like you. No, you don't. You're like a brother to me. You're the main character in all my dreams. <laughs> they made Shaggy a simp? Look what they've done to my boy! He's been reduced to the cucked, friend-zoned boy. Shaggy was my favorite character in the series, and this was just like, Painful. Star Wars did a better job <laughs> with their shaggy depiction. One of the main focuses of the show and of like an entire episode is about how Fred is prepubescent and has a tiny Just another entitled rich guy who might kill someone because he has a tiny dog. Which is like weird and stupid on its own, but also weird and stupid for a show that preaches body positivity, but I guess that's just for women. There's also randomly a scene where a fake eyelash falls onto Fred's lip and it makes him look like Hitler and a bystander says this. Oh God, he looks like Hitler. And not just because we compare everyone to Hitler these days. Uh. 
Nah, you're not getting away that easy. We need Nuremberg trials for the whole 2010s. You people need to be put on trial for what you have done to culture and the country in general. You can't just joke your way out of this. Also, his dad is absolutely modeled after the Chad Yes meme. Also, Daphne and Velma kind of have like a thing for each other and wind up kissing in like the second episode. Sorry. Ooh, these bitches gay! Good for them, good for them. Scooby Scooby Doo, looking for you. Couldn't have a show without ya. Damn, they weren't kidding. I'm glad Scooby isn't here. I'm glad he doesn't have to witness this botched abortion. He's still sacred and untouched for now. Maybe this trend of woke. I need to find a better word, honestly. <laughs> My parents know what woke means now. It's over. It's over. But maybe this trend is finally dying. Maybe people are smartening up to this pandering. Honestly, this show's politics are like <laughs> the least of its issues. I mean, maybe it will get better in future episodes. If you guys want to see me review those episodes, I'll be the Velma reviewer. <laughs> a fate worse than death. It, it will somehow stay on the air like Big Mouth because we live in hell and we don't deserve anything nice. I hope you enjoyed me waterboarding myself for your entertainment as always. Have you seen the show? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments and if you like this channel, please subscribe and consider donating to my Patreon down there. You'll also get access to my private Twitter account. I'll be posting there more often. And I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Bye! Ruffle, Raggy. Realm is a ragged.